Tally ho guys, today we are talking about uh, MC202EC or also known as Esperimento Canoni, which means experimental guns. Uh, this plane was a concept plane during the Second World War made by Machi. Uh, it's placed at a BR 3.3 in RB, which I mostly play, and in arcade battles. It's quite a bully because I guess it's a 2.0 maybe, yes? Uh, yeah, this plane is just... I think it's amazing. It suits my playstyle perfectly. It's indescribable what I feel for this plane. It's, it has the... it has got the MG151s. By the way, those are amazing. Look at this. You just can ruin a plane with the Minengeschoss, even a huge plane like this. Um, but yeah, let's not get distracted. I'll talk straight away about this plane with you guys. Uh, this plane has an excellent climb rate, I think. You won't outclimb Spitfires, but I think that's yeah reasonable for you guys you know you won't outclimb spitfires unless you're playing with the japanese but um also it can turn quite well but it loses a huge amount of energy but it has got a quite a turning sweet but at higher speeds it is amazing then the plane really feels good you can actually outturn some planes at this speed because at higher speeds they compress when they try to turn this plane only compresses at above 600 kilometers an hour I guess um, yes it's also a pretty dur durable plane I won't say it's foolproof but it can handle some damage 30 cals won't be a problem but like doing a head-on against 50 cals this plane is just very very vulnerable to engine hits your engine will blow up immediately i've had it tons of lots of times and yeah that's quite a problem not having an engine here in this engagement i don't know what happened but you just have to see my maybe it wasn't no it wasn't my thing but uh, my aim just wasn't on point and yeah let's talk about not my aim, but the guns. They are just amazing. You have two 20 millimeters. You also have a 50 cal, but I don't mind that. Uh, it's okay. Like here, I'm gonna finish this guy with my 50 cal, but the 20 millimeters. You have 250 rounds of ammo per gun. Can you imagine that? That's just that's just the wet dream of every German pilot. And here you have two. Imagine a BF-109 with this punching capability. It would just be amazing. And yeah, you have Minengeschoss, the high explosive rounds. They all, yeah, they are just amazing. In head-ons, like, like you saw in the intro. Just, that was, I guess, one hit. This IL-2 just didn't want to die, I don't know why, I set him on fire, the fire ran out, and eventually I will finish him with uh, my, uh, I guess it, there are Brita Safats, the 50 cals, they aren't bad, but they aren't good, they are just okay, they will do the work for just hitting and stuff, here, I just missed terribly, um, yeah, but this plane, it's just... Amazing. I would say it's a quite good plane to start off the the Italian grind for tier three. I I'm using it as a grinding plane for that tier, and it's doing it very very good. Here you can see me firing the fifty cals. There goes his wing. Uh, now I'm going RTB, I will be fast forwarding it until takeoff. And yeah, let's talk about the engine. I said it is quite vulnerable for head-ons, but the engine, it's an Alfa Romeo. I guess it has 
around 1150 horsepower and max and yeah the engine has got quite a sweet spot for mid altitude around 1.5 up to 5 km altitude the engine does perform at its best and when I say at its best it's really at its best it's not a high altitude fighter it's just a, re a re yeah this plane is just made to counter enemy fighters look at this situation oh yeah that's another thing at this BR the players aren't as experienced so you can make quite a few mistakes and you can get away with it look at this just I'm not hitting anything it's we're just my 50 cals but you can actually do stuff like this just fighting two guys at once okay I'm using my airfield but what did you expect that's normal who wouldn't do it it just using what you have it's not cheating it's just tactics so yeah this two guys these two guys sorry they are coming for me this is just an excellent situation to show you how well this plane performs under pressure here you can see it also can do some I won't call it turn fighting but evasive maneuvers and it can quite sustain some energy especially against these Russian fighters uh, yeah you can see oh yeah that's the thing I forgot to mention the roll rate isn't the best but here you can see it's quite stiff yeah or there isn't that much elevator authority but it's enough especially for at a higher speed turns as I told you but the rudder feels quite sluggish sometimes here you'll see just oh this is why I love the meaning gushos bum just right into the cockpit pilot killed I'm already at four kills and that easy with making lots of mistakes now you can see why this plane is just so 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 extremely good it isn't the maneuverability it's just the guns with the engine power and the durability at this tier here I'll make my final mistake I guess yes I killed him I'm an ace but he took me with him I was quite yeah I wasn't happy with this end but it was still one of the most easy aces I have ever achieved in War Thunder it's it wasn't that hard it was just like point and click the meaning the shots will it do it for me so yeah guys I hope you try this plane and give it a try here you can see the reward which is quite okay for not considering I don't have a premium account if you enjoyed this video consider leaving a like and uh, yeah I hope to see you on the battlefields of War Thunder